guys, welcome to Simproof Frysbeacon here and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. You know guys that EA was so kind to offer me a pre-release code of the new The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs pack and this is a build with the new pack in the new world called Brindleton Bay and of course I started with a pet clinic or a vet clinic I guess it's called in English. Um, yeah, so. With the new pack you can be a vet now, you can have like the vet career and it is just like we have it with the retail that we have through Get to Work. You can own a vet clinic which is on a different lot than your house. But since your sims or your vet sim then has to go to the toilet and maybe sleep and eat something, it's always pretty practical to also put an apartment of some sort somewhere on this lot too. So this is what I'm going to do here too. It's a family vet clinic and I have depicted it to be the like house of a family and the lower floor is the vet clinic and the upper floor is the cute little apartment of the family that I have depicted here and maybe both parents because I also put in like a little children's room maybe both parents are vets and they share this clinic together and are like vets together in this clinic and I've tested it it's fully functional I will put it up to download and when you get the pack the Sims 4 cats and dogs you can go right in, download this and, you know, play with the vet clinic and the vet career and try this out. So yeah, this is um, my little, I guess it's more of a Victorian looking house. I tried to use the new roof options that we got through the patch, but you also have that roof options, I guess, with normal base game because it was included in a patch. And yeah, we have octagonal and round roofs and I of course had to test this with this house as well and also the new wallpapers and all that kinds of stuff you will see this here I also try to use almost every I would say object from the new cats and dogs pack but there are some objects that are for community lots or are like really huge for example some pictures or wall decorations are kind of like huge advertisement walls for dog food or for tuna fish I guess it's for cat food then and yeah, of course I didn't use this here in this house, but I definitely try to use lots and lots of cats and dogs build and buy mode objects here. So if you have the pack, this will look, yeah, like it is here in the video. Of course, sometimes I will use like some different kind of objects, but I would say 93% of all objects and build mode objects are from the pack. So yeah, you can download this. It's basically almost just base game and the cats and dogs pack. I hope I don't say something wrong here because sometimes I of course have all the packs and I sometimes don't realize yeah, how many objects there are and from which kinds of packs and it's really really confusing sometimes for me. So I hope you don't hate me guys if there's like something wrong here but yeah feel free to download this uh, once you get the pack of course. So you can already see the amazing roofs. I just love it. It's um, it's amazing. I also used the new windows and doors that we get here. These are like I would say in general the whole build and buy objects are coastal, like American coastal. Sometimes I would say it also fits maybe the German European style, especially maybe the windows and all that kind of stuff. They are kind of Victorian and have lots of details so you can change the color and then it looks a little bit more creepy or like for horror builds and some are just, you know, with the blue and the white, it's very coastal in my opinion. It looks really cute, I really like the new windows and doors. Finally we have like a half circle window and... Yeah, you can use this in the new roofs, for example, which is amazing. I always wanted like a window like this, so I'm super happy that we finally have something like this. Oh my god, finally! A half circle window. <laughs> yeah, so the layout, I already sketched out the layout before I even got the pre-release key by EA. So it was kind of easy to build this. Well, not easy, but it was kind of quicker to build this because I already knew what I was doing, or at least I thought I knew what I was doing. But um, the idea to have the vet clinic 
under an apartment in one house is just something that I already know from the retail part that we got through the, I guess it was get to work. And yeah, it works fine and I totally can recommend to play with this. It's much easier to, you know, change your sim to the vet clinic or like move them to the vet clinic work and then go back and eat at home and all that stuff. It doesn't make any sense in my opinion. And it's much easier for gameplay if you just live in the vet clinic yourself and have like a lot, like a home lot aside. <laughs> so I, I like this version more or like this type of gameplay more. It's um, for me much easier because I'm not that into gameplay. And sometimes I'm like a huge noob when it comes to gameplay, but yeah, it's for building. I think it's also pretty cute and it has this family vibe. So in Germany we have this sometimes, of course, it looks different from the outside, but I thought it really suits into the Brindleton Bay world that you get with the new pack, which is also a coastal region. So that kind of fits with the build and buy mode objects. For me, it looks a little bit like northeast of the USA, like the Hamptons and something like this. It could also look like north of Germany, for example, because maybe some don't know, but Germany has also some sea on the north side of the country. So this is like a part where, of course, some Germans always go to spend their vacation there. And yeah, it, of course, I have been there a couple of times and it kind of also looks like a coastal area, maybe in Germany. And also this kind of relates to other coastal areas, maybe in France and England, for example, or Great Britain in general. So yeah, I think it's really cute if you do the houses like in these kinds of style, you can go with the European, then it is like more of a European coastal area and the other way around with the American style. I think they are a little bit different sometimes, but yeah, this is something that I still have to check out what kind of style I want to do. This house, for example, is something that I've seen in pictures that it's in America, but also we have, of course, this kind of style of house in Europe as well. So I can't even toggle where exactly I want to put this, but it's definitely a Victorian kind of style. It's more of a villa. It could be like a German, city villa like this is something that is like at the border of the city or something so yeah these uh, kinds of houses is like super common here and i was kind of inspired also by these kinds of houses so outside there is a little training ground you can train your dog and your cat and they can like you know go through a pipe and do a little I don't even know what it's called in English, but they can jump through hoops and all that kind of stuff. So you can train in some tricks, of course, something like lay down and sit and I don't know, um, greet and stuff like this. It's really cute. I haven't tested this in gameplay. This is like my first build that I did with this pack. And of course I wanted at first to build like a pet clinic. I always want to say pet clinic because it makes more sense for me as a vet clinic because I wanted to try out the new career and how it works. And by the way, it wasn't like super tricky at first, but it was definitely weird. Like I didn't even know what to do as a vet, but basically you have these patients that come in, they register themselves in one of these little, I've put in two of them. They look like little ATMs in my opinion, but yeah, they check in themselves, then they get this little star on their head, like the owners of the pet and then you can greet them and say okay i will treat your pet or something and then the pet automatically goes to the table to the examining table which i didn't realize first i was always looking where's the pet going where's the pet going <laughs> but yeah so once the pet is on the examining table you can choose different kinds of exam for example you can examine the mouth and do like a check of the temperature or the eyes and you know stuff like this and then on the upper left corner there will be your symptoms and then if you have like a certain amount of symptoms your sim knows what kind of disease the pet has so then they can treat it so then basically you can give them like a treatment like a pill or sometimes it's a biscuit or a shot or something like this it varies from kind of the sickness the pet has so you definitely need the examining table there's also a surgery thing that i have put in here too there will be two examining rooms 
and one has the surgery thing which I haven't really tested but you can scan the cats and dogs there but uh, yeah I have no idea why you actually need it because I didn't need it so far they only went to the examining table um, so yeah no idea when this comes around but maybe you can tell me in the comments down below maybe <laughs> you know so yeah there are basically two rooms where your sims can work as a vet so you can also since this is working like the restaurant a little bit which we get from the dine out pack your sims can also hire other vets to work at their clinic which i also did and they do their own work for themselves you don't even have to tell them what to do they will greet their patients and then treat or like at least examine and treat the animals themselves which is really easy then and yeah, it makes like lots and lots of sense. The only thing that I really hate about the vet clinic, but maybe that's just me, is that all the sick animals, they will puke and pee in your waiting room or at least in the whole house where they will go. So I kind of had like lots and lots of vomit or puke lying around there. And then the patients were kind of, you know, they didn't like it that it's so dirty in the house. So from time to time you have to mob a lot. <laughs> And it's like super, and there's even like something that is super disgusting, but so typical for dogs. If dogs throw up and their puke is like running around, they will of course eat the puke as well. <laughs> oh my god, I was so, I was like, ugh, he's eating it. But I myself of course had a couple of dogs in my life and that's something what dogs do. So that's super near to reality and I really like this. <laughs> kind of, it was gross, but it was super realistic. <laughs> So, oh, we are already upstairs. So upstairs there's a little children's room. I kind of used like lots of things from the toddler stuff and the kids room stuff. So like something uh, that's maybe not in your game if you don't have the pack. But don't worry, there will of course be the bed and the necessities are there. But I needed some really cute decorations. So I kind of found lots of other stuff that you could use here. Also there are lots of wall stickers or wall decals that you get with this pack which are like little dogs and cats and like footballs stuff like this. It's really cute and I think for a little children's room it's also like cute as a wall decor. So I used this here as well because maybe the kid also wants to be a vet just like his or her parents. I also used the orange color so it's neutral. You could have like a boy living in there or maybe a girl so that doesn't really matter what kind of family you live in there. And yeah, it was kind of fun to, you know, put lots and lots of stuffed animals in there and, you know, other little children's decorations in my opinion. That's really, really cute. Then I moved over to the bedroom of the parents. They have the new bed, of course. Oh, by the way, the child, of course, has the new bed that we get with the pack. And the parents have also the new furniture from the cats and dogs pack. I especially like the new corner couches, I guess. Oh yeah, corner couch sounds good. There are these corner couches that you can put into corners now and it looks amazing. I use them a lot here. And also the whole color theme with the new Cats and Dogs pack is more of the bluish, white and brown colors. And yeah, they, these are really, really neutral colors. And I really like it because they are really versatile with the color theme here. Sadly, there are not a lot of black options. You have to go with a dark brown here. So for horror builds or like creepy builds, I guess these are a little bit too, you know, friendly looking. But in general, I really like how the pack uses lots of over-exaggerated animal stickers and animal stuff, but then also has this really simple and clean and coastal looking furniture. So I think you get like lots and lots of stuff that isn't so animal related, which I really like. So yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> I really hope that you like this house. Of course, there will be a video tour at the end, so please stay tuned. If you want me to build something else for your game for The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs, then please write it in the comments down below and I will get right to it. And if you have any other questions about the new pack, then please write them in the comments as well. And I will, of course, try to answer you all, guys, like always. And yeah, that's it. I really hope that you like this family vet clinic. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you soon. Bye bye!